What's up, guys? So here's a real quick update. Um, today I'm going to talk about the caregivers program, what the update is about. Uh, so I ended up going through the general inspector um, investigation. Um, I did get investigated in regards to the caregivers program. I believe uh, it was an audit, and I believe the reason being is because I jumped from tier one to tier three um, in such a, I wouldn't say, um, quick manner. I, I don't know, but when the audit went through, uh, they wanted to know certain things about, um, they wanted to see if the doctors finagled the numbers um, or if I fraudulently said a few things that I wasn't supposed to. Um, at the end of the day, um, they confirmed that uh, I not only was saying the truth, but the doctors didn't uh, finagle no numbers. Um, but because of my job, and on top of that, uh, at the time when I was going through the evaluation, um, I was at my worst. Uh, the way they figured it is uh, I should be better. And on top of that, because however long I've been on the program, um, that I've been rehabbed according to them. So I no longer should be on the program. Um, so I haven't gotten the official termination um, letter, but I should be expecting it soon. Now, what led to this, uh, like I stated before, um, I believe it was because I jumped so quickly from tier one to tier three at my previous and jumping back on board, they wanted to see you know, what was going on. On top of that, another thing that led to this audit was the bill that was just signed for the caregivers program to be expanded um, all the way to World War II veterans um, and to be offered to these uh, veterans uh, from previous wars um, is what led to this audit. So they're trying to crack down on um, the number of type, I guess the veterans that most likely are in a field where they're caretakers themselves, such as Let's say you're a doctor, a nurse, a firefighter, a civil servant, period. So whether you're a firefighter or a cop, um, if you are in those fields working, um, then you obviously don't need a caregiver. Um, that's how they feel. Um, there's a few things I can appeal. I could fight it, you know, but at the end of the day, just like I told them, they make you jump through hoops for so many programs. Um just getting into the program just to prove uh what you know what i've been going through and just to show you guys how to get into the program is what uh i mainly was concerned about um so the system that i put out does work um they might restructure a few things but the ads will remain the same um they just might be a little more meticulous about what in regards to you say um, to certain things to qualify for those ADL numbers. So, you know, stay tuned. Uh, I will be, sorry, I'm at work, but I, I will be uh, trying to find out what this new ADL is. Um, it just won't be on my priority list since I'm not on the program anymore, but I will look into it more um, again, they're going to restructure this program. The ADLs will remain the same. Um, if you are a caretaker of some sort, such as medical or a uh, civil servant, you might not get on the program, you know, and it all depends on, uh, on your disabilities. You might technically qualify, but because of your job, you might not get on the program. Um, so don't be discouraged for those of you that are working, you can work and be on the program. Um, just that the jobs that are not going to get you on the program are the ones that I had just mentioned. Um, so continue on with the process that I has previously stated to you guys and, uh, hopefully it'll be able to help you out. Um, my apologies for being away for quite a while. Um, there are going to be a few topics. I did make a few videos. Um, so I have to edit them, um, and I will be posting them, such as uh, getting on, becoming civil servants. Uh, there's another one on getting to 100 and becoming permanent in total. 
um, without being individual employability. There are a few things in regards to that I'm still supposed to do, but I haven't been able to do, uh, not due to procrastination. I felt like it was procrastination, but I have a lot on my plate right now. So um, be patient, stay tuned to what's coming up. And uh, there's a few things the guys that I have mentioned in uh, the comments um, that I will be getting back to you guys, all right? Um, but take care and do me a favor, follow the channel, spread it to the rest of the, the veterans and um, that, that we know. And uh, take care, all right? Bye-bye.